Luteolin, a powerful polyphenol and tetrahydroxyflavon, is being extensively researched for its potential health benefits. Studies suggest that flavonoid-rich diets may support weight loss and weight maintenance. In rodent models, luteolin supplementation protected against weight gain, fat accumulation, and adipose tissue hypertrophy, even when consuming a high-calorie, high-fat diet. Researchers speculate that luteolin's effects on weight may be related to its impact on serotonin levels in the brain, which can influence food choices and eating behaviors. Luteolin has also shown promise in improving insulin resistance and glucose metabolism. Studies have found that luteolin supplementation led to significant decreases in fasting glucose and insulin levels. It appears to mediate crosstalk between the liver and adipose tissue, helping to normalize communication and prevent excessive fat accumulation. Luteolin also seems to enhance hepatic insulin sensitivity, reducing the risk of developing a fatty liver. Furthermore, it activates the expression of insulin receptor substrate genes, potentially increasing the number of insulin receptors and improving glucose modulation. One of the most exciting areas of research on luteolin is its impact on neuroinflammation in the brain. In both healthy and inflamed microglial cells, luteolin mitigated inflammatory issues by suppressing pro-inflammatory compounds such as interleukin-6, chemokine ligand-10, and various interferon components. It also downregulated pro-inflammatory gene expression while maintaining the production of anti-inflammatory markers. These findings suggest that luteolin may have potential in addressing brain inflammation, which is associated with various conditions like brain fog and neurodegenerative diseases. While the exact mechanisms of action are still being investigated, the research on luteolin is promising. As a plant-based flavonoid, it offers a natural approach to supporting health and well-being. However, it is important to note that much of the current research has been conducted in vitro or in rodent models, and further human studies are needed to fully understand its effects and potential applications.